How's it going? My name is uh, JJ Robo, and what better way to start off a disc golf video than uh, in the bag? So it's December 2022. Um, I've only been playing for about a year, so this bag is ever changing. This is my second bag as of currently, as I started with a dynamic disc beginner set bag that didn't have a putter pouch, which is why I upgraded to the hand eye supply civilian backpack. I think I'm saying that right. But Dynamic is also like the Trooper team bag, so the same quality as a Trooper that you've probably seen in your local course. In this pouch, I usually keep a 32 ounce water bottle. Fits in there pretty snug, but gets the job done. And here I have a bunch of rags, which if you play in New England, you know how muddy and wet courses can get here. This is editor JJ commenting in that I forgot to mention in the pouch with my rags, usually I keep a, a phone stand that records all these videos on. So I will leave a picture to that in the video, but also try to post a link to it in the description. I got it for like 10 bucks and I can't say more about it. It's super, super good quality. And if you're trying to start your own YouTube channel for disc golf, I can't recommend it enough, but back to the video. In this pouch, I have some minis. Um, got a trash panda mini, shout out to them. Got some sharp, I got a Sharpie in here. Got some bug spray for the one it's summertime because it can get pretty buggy out around here i have a, a hand warmer that i think is probably dead uh, let's find out yep it's dead so i gotta charge this um and also have a whale sack in here if i can get it out so i gotta keep your hands uh, dry so that's in this pouch and then in here usually is where i keep my wallet or keys when i'm playing usually my phone stays in my pocket so i can keep score but so that's the bag itself now for the putter pouch i have two putters that i put with in here so i use the latu 64 daggers this is a special go die uh, di disc from somebody in connecticut i'll leave his instagram handle in the description if you want to go check him out he's got some great disc i know he sells uh on a wide variety of places so feel free to message him if you like the design and then here's just the one i use the most it's kind of like my my war course putter uh, the Ricky Wasaki one, and I just can't say enough about these. As somebody with bigger hands, these are great deep, deep putters. So for me, it's very easy to get good hand placement on here. So, love it. Uh, now, uh, one of the newer additions to my bag is the Trash Panda Intercore. Uh, this is a great straight flying disc, and of course, the mission behind it is to have a 100% recyclable disc. So I'm always about good causes. Uh, some two discs that are kind of going in between and where they're staying in my bag. Currently, I have a Prodigy A5 in the 500 plastic. I like the low profile of this disc. And for me, it says this is an understable disc when I look it up, but for me, it is pretty overstable. So usually I throw it, it stays pretty straight and I have a really good dependable fade. Maybe when I beat this in some more, it will be more of a nice S-shaped line, what kind of says it is on the website, but I like the stamp and this is just a nice premium disc. Uh, now the disc that I'm thinking this is gonna that's gonna replace is this Axiom Envy. Uh, if you've seen the James Conrad World Championship shot, you know probably why I picked up this disc. Uh, I could throw this really well with some good torque and because it's a three speed, it's gonna get some good distance. And I don't know if it's just the gyro or not, but I just can't say good enough, <clears throat> good enough things about the Envy. So, uh, but however. If this disc can replace it, then I have no need for this nice custom go die one, because why would I want to lose this one? So that's the putters up here. I do have one putter in here that's a throwing putter only, and that's a Discraft Fierce, Paige Pierce. I got this off a used rack. As you can tell, it's pretty beat in already. And I use this when I need something to get a nice turnover shot to go to the right for me. Uh, I pretty consistently can throw this like 250, so if I, if I know I'm trying to control it where it's going to go to the right. This is the disc I'll probably throw. And in New England wooded courses, it's like a disc to have. All right, time for the mid-ranges. <clears throat> New addition to my bag, uh, Discraft Zone. And the Get Freeze was a custom edition Crystal Flex. I don't know. They had this thing at Foundation a couple months ago and I got lucky where I was able to get one of the drops from Foundation. And obviously they got them to sign it. So super cool, kind of a collector's edition uh, disc in my bag and for me I mostly throw this with four hands and I just like the low profile though. 
Uh, next disc, we have a Prodigy M4 in the 300 plastic. Uh, this is probably the max weight disc I have in my bag. So for me, I usually pull this out for nice windy shots and it's really overstable. So I know it's gonna go to the right for me and have a small fade back. So it's good for S-shaped shots. So I got two buzzes in my bag. So two discard buzzes. One is in the SS and this is the Z plastic. Uh, I got an SS one because I kept having too much fade on the regular buzz. So I wanted something that kind of starts the right more. So I like this one. And then the reason I got this one is because this is one of the first discs I bought from Godai. And just, I love the swirls in this color and it flies really, really straight for me with a pretty dependable fade to the left at the very end of the flight. And the last mid range I got in my bag is this uh, Champion uh, Innova Rock 3. And it's, I like to die on it. So I got it out of a tournament for a player's pack. Uh, it's pretty overstable for me, and I'm still kind of debating if it's gonna stay in my bag, but for now, kind of fills out overstable mid-range. Uh, so fairway drivers. First off, we got uh, Axiom Crave. I didn't know I needed a six-speed disc in my bag until I started throwing this disc. I get a really good, dependable S-shaped curve out of this shot, this disc, and I think down the road, I'm gonna find some more six-speed disc to throw. Now, after I threw this disc for the first time, I knew I had to get more of it, so I have a second one in my bag, and this is the Discraft Heat. It's in the ESP plastic. Uh, I threw this over 350 feet, and that was the first time I ever threw a disc over that far, so immediately it got pegged. Uh, I like this because it's very understable, and the way I like the way I usually throw is I can get good hyzer flips with this and just let it ride straight and have a good fade. Or if I need to do something where I'm curving it to the right, I can get a nice ante and it's just gonna hold that line really well. So I got another one, like I said, this is in the Z plastic, the Z Flex plastic. Uh, I got it the same day I got that zone. So obviously I got it signed by foundation and just, it was a, I, I, I like the pink. So honestly, if you notice, I got a lot of pink disc in here mostly because I feel like they stand out more in New England weather, same thing with the blue. So I just, for me, it's like pink or blue if I can have a preference of getting a disc. Uh, another disc I got is uh, another fairway driver, is the Tesla from MVP. I mostly got this because I found it in a used rack and I like the stamp and it kind of filled the role of a nice, uh, nice overstable uh, fairway driver. We're gonna throw it, it's gonna stay straight pretty f for the most part and then dump off to the left really consistently. So I know, if you beat it, it says a negative one for the turn. Uh, for, yeah, for the turn. So it should beat in to be kind of a more S-shaped shot like the Crave is, but a little bit faster. So that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen with this disc, but we'll see what happens. Some more MVP disc I have is a phase. I just picked this up on uh, Black Friday, and this is a very, very knee hooky of a disc. I honestly do not recommend this disc for most people. I'm still kind of figuring it out, but if you need something where you can just throw it out wide and know it's gonna fade back, uh, this is kind of that disc for me. And then another disc that's kind of similar to that, but I use it mostly for Tomahawks, is this MVP Nitro. It's in 160 grams, so it's super light, and it's like perfectly beat in for me where it's gonna kind of flip exactly the way I need it to when I'm trying to dodge a tree in the middle of the woods. So, some more drivers. So now we're, I, I mean, that was technically a distance driver, but don't really classify as but these are my beefy boys so i have a hades here discraft hades and i have another one in my bag too this is the one that i picked up after i lost this one and i got it look like it was returned to me but for me i like the hades because from my arm speed i'm getting it to this level but when i get it perfectly it's just gonna get that nice s-shaped curve that i need for those max distance shots so it's a great disc uh The next disc is actually a gift I got from my buddy. This is a Innova Destroyer in the DX plastic. I use this mostly for rollers. Uh, don't pull it out that often, maybe once or twice around. And if I get enough hyzer flip onto it, it's stay pretty straight, but this is pretty flippy for a destroyer, I think. Uh, I've never, I actually haven't thrown too many destroyers. I can't say that for sure, but based on what I've seen on like live coverage and stuff, I just think this is, not really a destroyer anymore, but I like it because it's one of those discs that if I lost it, it wouldn't be in any world, even though it is for my buddy. So shout out to Dave. Next disc is a disc I probably throw maybe the second most to the Discraft Heat, and this is the Champion End of a Turn, 
the Champion Plastic. I I got this disc when I first started playing, one of the like first steps up from a beginner set to like actual premium plastic, and I'm able to get good straight shots with that defendable fade with these with this disc. So and then for a 12 speed, I was able, I was shocked when I first started playing. I was able to use a 12 speed disc, so I I have a very special connection to that disc. Last two discs in my bag are both uh, nukes from Discraft. I have two versions. I got the ESP Plastic, the Page Pierce Edition, and then I got uh, Z Flux Plastic. And for me, this is a very dependable in the wind shot disc for me. It's gonna stay pretty straight and then have a good fade to the left. And it's, I know I have to throw this in most wind conditions, it's gonna hold up. And this is why I like the nukes. Uh, even though it's a 13 speed, where it's like a little bit out of my arm range, once I get that, once I get my form a little bit more in condition, I know I feel confident with these discs. So, love the nukes. And and this, that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section below or message me on Instagram. I don't really know what this channel is going to be yet. I just wanted to take a stab at making a disc, a disc golf video. So we'll see what happens. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, like the video, subscribe for maybe more content in the coming months or so. But thank you. Have a good one.